This is big idea number two, and that is that tools are managed individually at the tool level, and there are choices. So let's log into sakaipilot.unc.edu and go to a demo course site. I'm going to click on announcements and notice add. All the options are immediately underneath. And see the pattern. Under each tool, there's a bar that has options for you. Messages, gradebook, and so forth. Let's go to site info. Here's where we have choice to edit our tools. And so there's a set of default tools for all courses and projects, but you can change those. We've got two blogger tools, two discussion forum tools that we can choose from. There are even two test and quizzes tools. I'm going to add a news tool. And uh, so I select it, click continue. And then I'm going to add the UNC Sakai blog so I can stay up to date and I go to their site and in the about menu item I'll find the RSS feed and any RSS feed will work for you too. You're going to copy it and paste it into the URL. Click continue and finish and then you'll notice that the Sakai blog shows up on our left hand menu. However, I don't want it at the bottom. So click page order, drag and drop, to the location that I prefer and click Save. And there it is. All right, let's go back to the home menu now. If we click on Options, the bar that displays immediately underneath, I can start customizing how my home page looks. And I'm going to add an image. And so any image that's available to you on the web, of course you want to follow copyright, However, this is an image that we have. It's the Sakai 5 Big Ideas image. So we add the URL location. We will come back and add alternate text. And um, we're going to scale it down so that it fits nicely on the page. I'm going to center it and update. So there I have an image. And just a reminder, you can change the options for how announcements will display as well as how the calendar for your site will display. And there you have it. Tools are managed at the tool level.